everybody, it's look at some stocks in this video. Gonna be kind of going through the uh, on my watch list and stuff, I'm trying to find some stuff to trade. I guess some stocks to trade, obviously. But um, yeah, I haven't looked at the market really in a while. I feel like I say that every week, but because of Christmas and New Year's, you know, I haven't really done too much. So let's spend some time and look at everything. Almost everything. We've got the spy kind of doing what we kind of thought. No way yet. Actually, these are weekly candles. Wow, so we actually had one, two, three, four, five. There's five, six, seven weeks of trying to break above this 470. We finally did. Um, but it's not like that much volume, actually. Uh, kind of spilling over what is today. It's the 27th. That was Monday. Wow, that had a big rip up. Uh, still on. This is really interesting price action. It falls right in the week of like Christmas. It just shoots up. I mean, you get that little rally, but that's actually four or five percent move. So kind of a decent amount. But later in the week, kind of spills over a little bit. A little bit more volume on the little weeks. Anyway, let's go to QQQ. See what's going on with this. Oh wow, look at that. That is bearish. Kind of doing this is like yeah, I, I still think this has to reject test this. It just really that's a breath of big reject. So this is on a weekly candle too. We had a big week of rejecting that. It broke oh, wow, wow, look at that. This is super significant in my opinion. So what we labeled four hundred is significant, that just makes sense. It shoots up, holds, holds, bearish hold here, and then it spills the last day. Confirming that it, it did not want to break above this. That's really not bearish, but sign signaling that this price level is um, a heavy resistance. So, yeah, I mean, it, I guarantee, not guarantee, but probably Monday, oh, it just shoots up because that's just how this market behaves. But from like a technical point of view, this signal downward momentum. So, but the, yeah. I mean, that always looks pretty good. Um, run up, not at all time high, kind of spilling over. This was a weird candle, just catching right there. I guess 350, no, 350 is up here, so it didn't actually catch that. Now, see, we're getting this type of pattern now, so we got this. Get this, like, this is weird, but I guess we could try to get that, so. Getting like, let's see, what do we want significant? We'll make this significant because it, we'll get this wick and this wick. So this is my significant line. Actually, is this like, so this is, this is 14 degrees, 15 about. This is, it's actually a pretty decent channel if we label those significant. Huh. Interesting. Or what we could do is do this line and do these. because it connects this and this and that. Depends on if we do this, this looks bearish. If we do the other way, it just looks normal, or not normal, but just like, eh. Um, yeah, I don't know, it depends how we want to look at it, but still heavy selling on Friday. Whatever, but then another 
low, but not as low, like slope-wise. So it's definitely seeming like it's forming a base, probably like 3,700 might be it. But then we did end on Friday, look at that. Like this is a pretty bullish candle at this price level. But then this is pretty bearish at this price level, so it's like, I don't know, I guess some like mixed feelings here. Uh, but it does look more like a rounding pattern, but definitely this resistance level here is kind of putting some pressure on it. Let's see, this, yeah, 40,000, four, yeah, 4,000, sorry, I probably think I said 30,000 before, but like, yeah, so this, there is a 36,000, I'm surprised, 36, but if we label 36,000 as significant, hold on, got this, 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 weekly candle, this, this one, this one, this one, all these, so, I know, I'm dumb, this one, this one, this one, this one, then a breakthrough through it, then come back to retest it, so I think 36 is pretty significant. Yeah, let's go to crude oil. Um, it's in the back at 75 bucks. In this kind of pattern, I, I don't know what, what this pattern really is. Is it, is it bullish? Is it bearish? I don't know. Um, but actually, wait, what? Did, hold on. I'm confusing my patterns now. Yeah, so when it rises and it comes to like a funnel that's usually usually bearish crude's doing the opposite whoops that's called crude's expanding as it increases as opposed to funneling so is it bullish then i don't know but yeah i think 75 anywhere between like 70 and above honestly great for like exxon so Loving these prices, but I, I still think crude goes higher in a macro, you know, time frame. Just still, I think it's just having a cool off period. You know, we had this huge run up, you know, a little bit of a pullback here, and then a huge run up. You know, I think I don't think we see a retest of 62 unless if something bad happens. But I do think that like around this 75, 80, well, I guess 70 to 80 bucks, it'll just drop around for a little bit. I mean, I don't know when, but I do think still macro-wise it goes higher. Are we going to see $100? I don't know, but I'm going to see some higher stuff in my opinion. Let's see. Gold. Gold did some awesome stuff like the last week or two. So we had this heavy resistance, and it finally shoots out. Kind of, kind of weak shoot out, though, but that wick definitely confirming that this was significant and held above. And it's at the 1800 level. So the next week we get that wick and this huge body to glow. Wow, that I, this is such a bullish candle, but you know, this is gold, so it'll probably go down. But like this candle and this candle after is really bullish. I think this, technically speaking, this should go higher over, let's say a month or two, like, or in the next couple weeks. Um, but yeah, I mean, we have some resistance levels ahead. We got 1850, you know, 19, on 1900, I would say, but 1917 for some reason I don't know looking like that's a great way to end the week too right off of that like look at that wick and look at that then into that body all oh, like that candle formation looks super good super good uh, yeah I added some gold last week so silver you know we got that 22 pounds kind of shooting up. We had a little sell-off, which would make sense. Like one day, you know, some people taking profit if they're in like a 6% trade or whatever into these like 22, 23 zones. I think people would, or I guess 23, I'm gonna see some selling. So not gonna be surprised, but this momentum going in looks pretty good. Although declining volume overall, uh, but on weekly candles looks pretty good to me. Uh, you still got this is a pretty big resistance level we gotta break out of but if gold's moving silver usually does follow we are watching alcola kind of just cooling off a little bit that's a pretty bearish candle out of 60 bucks it tried to shoot went to 60 150 apple we are watching too i i don't know I, this is still a big bearish pattern that it broke out of and like, I, I, it's still bearish pattern. I, like a mega bearish pattern, not like a miniature one, so I'm just confused. Activision, no, we had, wow, that's actually a lot of green candles slowly running up. Now, uh, I don't know why right here, why 
by 60 bucks so I'm selling a little bit it should pull back a little bit you know maybe move higher I think the company's financials are good but like the fundamental you know ideal with this company is I don't like it don't like the CEO that much I don't like how the business is run but I guess the company makes money Papa had like a pretty big run up but this thing just keeps tanking just watching it though BGFV is still just watching it Corsair I think Corsair at 20 bucks um I don't know I, I it did hit 20 bucks but like I mean for my portfolio I think it it, it might need to get at it soon um it, it just at the zone just watching Disney uh CEA that's kind of like a nice run up but um yeah I'm just watching it JDX, oh look at that, we broke, I mean not like any volume though, any significant volume, but we broke above the 31, which was giving us problems since back uh, early December, late November, that's good, uh, internal beach, kind of surprised on this one, there was some news I guess of a buyout or something, and then it like just tanked it. Watching Coles, this thing does seem very interesting to me. Um, the company's so cheap, so if, I don't know what I'm waiting for, but I think I have to do some more DD um, before I do anything, but Logitech is still watching it, watching it like a hawk, you know, just eyeing it up, but I think, um, I think we still might see some lower prices. M.O. Really interesting on this one, you know, it fell that huge grind line and shot up, you know, actually a lot. And it kind of came back to retest it, but now we're getting some problems at the, like, 47 zone. The NVIDIA, I mean, I think we had 300s right here, so I had some, actually had some support at 300 for a while, but I think 300 is a pretty big resistance zone. Oh, wow, oh, Realty, I didn't watch this one for a while, but... That, uh, that got some momentum going to it. I think my buy zone's still like 60 bucks, but yeah, we're back at this big trend line. So, actually, how big is this? This is a big boy trend line. Let's make this a little bit wider. But yeah, it's a big boy trend line. Like, uh, if it breaks that, it'll probably run up. But, like, I don't know. I just, I just don't care really enough. Pan American Silver looking crispy at these zones. But I already have to weigh too much stuff in gold and silver. SM Energy Space, Virgin Galactic. Still kind of eyeing this up, man. It's at 1330. Like, this thing even at 10. I mean, if it falls to 10 bucks, that's a 25% drop. But, like, I mean, this thing's. You can't really value this from any, like, investing metric. Because it, it just doesn't do anything. It's just kind of an idea, you know. But. Um. Like, I think it's got to find some support soon, maybe 10 bucks. I mean, that's far, though. 12 bucks, maybe. I don't know. Um, this thing could do nothing for, like, months, years, you know. I could go back to this, just doing nothing. I mean, even this, if, whoops, oh no, I'm never going to find it. Even like this, though, if we wanted to break, break it down, like, oh, it's only a 2% move, I thought it'd be a lot, yeah. Didn't really move back then, I guess, that much. Oh, it's Tesla doing. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at that. So this is obviously the, the trend line. And definitely reject on that trend line. That's pretty bearish. Um, I guess I think I used the words bearish and bullish way too loosely, but this is a yeah, just a rejection here. Obviously, we got buying here, but did spill over for a whole week and shot right back through. But look at that one, two, three, like five candles all at that resistance line, not doing too much. So, all right, we gotta scan some stuff. Nah. Let's do a weekly candles. I do like seeing the bigger picture. Oh, say like American Airlines, 13, 14 bucks maybe. I saw Apple, oops, App, Airbnb. Yeah, I don't, I always forgot Happy, Happy Fi. Fabify. Wow, feel sad. I used to own this at like 70 bucks. I think it was right here. Yeah, the summer of 2019 is when I had my internship. Or was it 18? No, it couldn't have been 18. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that would have been crazy. But uh, actually, I'm just curious if I had it at 70. I think 
was like 73 or something. One dollar, wait, why'd they pay such a big dividend? Jeez. Uh, times four divided by 70, just curious what the yield would have been. It would have been 8% yield. I think I bought that, like, I mean, I guess we didn't do the number. That's, I guess, a 6% yield or something. Wait, that thing's ripping up. Adobe kind of spilling over a little bit. Uh, ADI, nothing too attractive. Look at half lag. I can't believe this ran up that much. Like, I mean, from here to there. So I was, I was hiding up here. But whatever, it's, I don't know. AG, oh, big reject on AG over here. That's looking at, man, really got to break that, but it isn't. I kind of anticipated it would do that. AMC, that thing's spilling. I, I don't know. I just don't think there's any value there for shareholders, at least. But I get, I get the move, but I just, I don't know. See Amazon just chopping around a little bit. So Amazon has like this somewhat ascending triangle, but it failed two times. Pretty major failures, too. So would anticipate it to fall. Uh, anyway, this is Apache. Oh, yeah. ASO. Activision. Uh, yeah, we did look at that already. AutoZone. Boeing. Hasn't really done anything. Papa, yeah, look at BAP. Best Buy. That's a big drop. Now we are just like retested 100 bucks.
rejected that 25 zone. Really interesting. I mean, this company makes money. It's just they got a lot of competition. DraftKings. Digital Realty. Wow, this went up a lot. Dollar Tree. Big jumps, big jumps. Wow, Krispy Kreme is back at $19. What? <laughs> what is happening? Domino's Pizza. Duke Energy. I've been eyeing up that for a while, but just. Uh, let's see. Eli. Or Cal Callaway. And, uh, don't really care about these too much. Ford, man, making up to 20 bucks. The Meta Platforms. That's actually a really bearish candle right there. Day or last week, uh, FC action will break into low resistance five below. Foot locker actually start buying some foot locker, just too cheap, in my opinion. Oh, look at that first solar broke out of that little rising grind line, then a candle to reject it. actually very 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 interesting generic uh, gold yeah gold google google we actually did some analysis on and like at these prices it's actually not that expensive if you use like a 15 to 20 percent growth rate with like you know 30 percent margins and stuff like and that's what they're anticipated to so but like man it's still quote expensive Home Depot, supposedly Home Depot was like the best company um, from like a percentage point of view. Um, HBR, yeah, I think this year in, in the Dow. IBM, we got Intel, my boy Intel. iRobot, gonna be looking at this a little bit more intensely. Uh, J&J, JP Morgan. What's it not did load up? This looks interesting. High, higher high, higher high, higher high. Huh, I don't know. Kellogg's, Kirkland, Kimberly Clark, you know, like Kimberly Clark. Actually, I mean, it's chopping around, but what does that yield? Like 4%, maybe 3.5%. Uh, Coke, I can't believe Coke's uh, like still this. Like, how does Coke have. Let me just see if the BE is like, where is it, 28 and a half, like, bro, it's Coke. There's like, not going to be that much growth in this company, so like, I don't know why people are paying so much for it, but, I don't know. Uh, Crocker, yeah, Kohl's, uh, Lee, yeah, I don't know why that's on here. Lockheed, you know, we're finally broke at it, you know, we're in this little channel here on this grind line and then we finally broke out of it so hopefully this goes a little higher but I did do some analysis on it and I deemed it it's still kind of expensive like but uh, I do like I do like the company so I forgot about my team I mean I do like the company but um yeah I'll see what happens Logitech, I mean, we, I think we still got to form some sort of base at around 75 bucks. Just hopefully chop around here for a little bit. I mean, Lowe's is ripping higher. Like, that, that's crazy. Uh, Lululemons. Lululemon, not lemons. Las Vegas Sands. I'm really happy. I, I think I bought this and sold it. So I'm very happy about that. Because uh, that thing still continued to tank. Forgot about that. McDonald's. I mean, now, now they're paying one dollar thirty-eight a dividend. What's this yield right now? One thirty-eight. I mean, they're just too leveraged for me. Though I, I get it's a great company, but I don't know. I'll pick something else. Two percent yield right now. MGM. Three M. 
I'm still, I think this is still a solid company. I mean, the 170s, it's a little expensive, but like, compared to like, compared to some other things, it's not that expensive. Uh, that's all Trier Group, Moderna. Actually, look at Moderna. Hold on. Depending on. Wait, why? Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I'm like, why is that back here? But yeah, we're, we're like at some like kind of grindy line. I just. I just aligned, but we're at some like uh, significant level. Morgan Stanley, Microsoft. MU. I, yeah, MU. I guess that's some good earnings or something, but like. I don't know, the company still doesn't seem that good to me. Newmont is putting in work, so some people are buying this, like, some big boy hedge fund buyers or something, because, yeah, this is what they would buy, but yeah, it's looking great, those candles, the last few weeks. Netflix, that's pretty weak, uh, is this on earnings? No, it's like, that's a weird day, why did they just, like, drop the week? this for so long, like from like 30, yeah, from like, I think it was February to like, yeah, literally this year, I'm just waiting for it to go back to here, and it did, but I wasn't paying attention, but it's like, wow, I owned this too, like a while ago, I forgot about this, PLD, it was chopping in here for so long, and then now it, 100 bucks, wow, that's a bet, a 60% move, that's crazy, Palantir, I mean, this had some support zone, but like, I don't know, Block Power, I don't know why I'm looking at that, BBC, Prudential, uh, CPSA, $2 dividend, wow, I mean, I know Peloton fell, but now it, there's like no support at it at all, PayPal, yeah, 175 is some support, it's, uh, In the 
These things are really expensive still, but wow, stag, look at that. Look at that big, juicy candle. Kind of surprised it's up that much, though. This is a head and shoulders, clearly. Look at that shoulder, head, shoulder. Got behind it with like 57, 58 bucks, so, but yeah. That's S that was STLD, store capital. Uh, Smith and Weston, I think, is still so cheap. Like, I, I think I, I didn't had, I, I mean, I don't know last time we talked, but I did add a while ago, maybe like a week or two, that's not a while, but, yeah, like a week or two ago. AT&T really dropping, they really gotta, you know, cut that dividend or something, did they? I don't know. Uh, Target. What is this, oh, Toyota. Nice, like, a grind line up there. Mobile. I like Verizon though. Verizon stock looks spicy. Taiwan Semi. This yeah, this looks like it's forming a couple of handle. I think I put this here like a week or two ago, but that, that probably goes up from there. Assuming that cup and handle kind of forms. Take two interactive. I think it's still expensive for me, but yeah, I do like the company. Uh, oh, Tupperware looking at things like this. Uh, I, it, it's super cheap, but I don't know if I like it enough. Twinkies. Twitter. I don't care about Twitter. Texas Instruments. Uh, Unity Software. Yeah, that's, this actually looks like a cup and handle, too. I don't know why my thing is so slow today, but you got this cup. Kind of, it overextends, though, so. Yeah, then, yeah, I don't know. It, it's bit, I'm picky with those. Uh, Under Armour. If I had to pick a um, airliner, I forgot what I was going to say, it'd be probably Southwest because they're balance sheet, but UEC, got some uranium in here. Alta Beauty, UA, UNH, LD UPS. Where's your, yeah, UPS has a little ascending track. Actually, do I? Let me see if I got that one UPS. That ascending triangle is pretty spicy. Visa, I mean, Visa's looking pretty spicy. Let's see. Oh, wow, yeah, look at this. Hold on, let's go to Monte Candles. Let's say this is significant, and I'm going to say these are significant because it's going to touch all these candles. If we do that, we 
you can see that, you know, significant, kind of significant, you know, bouncing, 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 kind of not, but now it's on the other side of this trend line. Kind of just to get a good gauge of it, you know. Go to Viacom, it's whatever. VMware. I still think Verizon's pretty spicy, getting rejected off this, this mega line, though. Really trying to fight it, but... Walgreens, I know I did, I sold it a few weeks ago, maybe a month or two ago, but I mean, it still looks pretty good. If it goes back to like the over 45, I think I should just buy it. Like, it's it's too cheap to be honest, and the, the dividend's like four something percent. But, um, yeah, I, 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 the reason why I don't want to though is just like, I don't remember my reasoning, but I just didn't want it. <laughs> I just, I just didn't want it. The portfolio was bothering me. Well Tower, Whirlpool. Where's Whirlpool? There we go. Workhorse. Oh my god, it's at four bucks now. Oh man. This is sad. It's a sad stock, sad company. It's a Walmart.